All right, hello from the golfers. This is uh, Coach Eric Schulberg, BJS Golf Academy. And uh, this is looking at week three of my rebuild. So as many of you know, um, I've had to deal with a lot of injuries um, that have not allowed me to golf, okay? So they go back a long time. Um, but recently it's been almost um, after shoulder and uh, another surgery, well, a surgery on my wrist, it's been really about two years before I started this. This is the third week of rebuilding. So I have to go back and look at all the problems I had restarting. So, and you know, even if you go back before then, there were times that I was basically crippled and couldn't walk because my back until I had my miracle surgery in 2017. So for me, all my back problems started um, when I was about 21 trying to play professionally and my back just crushed. And I believe 100% is from my golf swing I had back then. That was, You'll see some of it in here that I'm trying to get rid of. I'm trying, and it's, and I, I absolutely don't teach anything um, where we're, I try to keep everybody stacked so we don't, ha so here's the key that we're not using our lower back as rotational and as, as instead of it being the stability piece that we need, okay? So if we kind of just go along and look at this, you'll see that, um, you know, one thing you know, I've always had to kind of work on here with this is that making sure I get in here with maybe a club face a little more close so I can, you know, rotate here a little more, which I feel like is still hard for my back. Uh, in the essence, it feels like a little scared to do it. Um, just because um, it, it, it shouldn't be scared, but it is just because um, it doesn't know that it's okay. If, if that makes sense, okay? Um, it doesn't know that I'm okay to do it. And I think that's a lot with some people, a lot with people. And so what I'm trying to do here is just by doing this like free move before I swing is get to impact and tell my body, hey, this is okay to be here. This is okay to open up. And here's the thing, I'm getting here in an okay way, this open piece right here. So I'm not um, getting there by ro just rotating my hips. I'm getting there by pushing back from my front toe to heel on the front leg, which is opening my hips. And I know I know it sounds crazy to most because they have never heard of that. They just try to rotate their hips, but that's the powerful way to do it. And that's how you use ground reaction forces. That's what you see every guy on the tour using. So that's what I'm trying to do now. So number one, I had to fix my, my uh, takeaway. That was the number one goal because I was whipping it way behind me. And I don't love this one. Usually I've gotten I've gotten to the point now where we're all coming through the hands um, right here when I take it back I'm still much more happy with this but I don't like the disconnection here see the hands coming out so that's a change that it's not as good as it was so um, most of the time it looks much better than this um, I'm trying to make sure when I come down that I am getting it shelled out nicely um, and this club in a better place than where I used to be which was more just completely toe up and you look here is a pretty good position now but what I don't love is look what I'm doing I'm tilting back I want to be more stacked so when I'm right here right I'm shifting more to my left side look at the lower body go and this is the old in me staying back okay because I get here and I'm in a good position but I need this I need to be up here more stacked on top of it okay um, and that's why one of the reasons I don't have is good. You look at the impact here. It doesn't look like what I practiced, right? Um, now the club is exiting in a better way than I, that I like now than it used to where it was way outside and because I was rolling it because my uh, path was so big right to left. But just in general, um, yeah, and I'm going to fix this takeaway because I can tell the takeaway once I can tell that is... Uh, the old roll, which I've worked very hard to get rid of, and it just must have been bad this night. So, takeaway for me, I, I've had a bad takeaway in the past, and um, it's one of those things I've been wanting to fix. And, and the real reason for it is this: is because I've been hurt for so long, um, and now I do have the ability to swing. And the truth is, for all of you guys, is that I am sick and tired of telling people to do one thing basically don't do as I do do as I do as I say not as I do and I just think um, as a golf professional I need to represent more of what I'm trying to do better if that makes sense um, 
and I know I can do it. Um, literally, you got to remember, I'm three weeks into this change here versus my old swing that had a massive like ole move out way out to the right and rolling over. Okay, so but you can go back and look at week one and the initial videos, and you, you'll be able to see what the difference is. It's pretty good so far. And what have I committed to here? Okay, so some people look at take away and be real upset by it. I, I'm not okay. Even though I've spent, I've tried to do 25 in the morning, 25 at night, um, daily. Even though I've done that, I'm not that upset with this because I realize learning. I realize I made a mistake here and that it still looks better than before, but it's a daily work for me still to fix that. Okay. You don't, you don't just fix this in one thing when I've been, even when my back was really bad, it doesn't mean I didn't do like little takeaway stuff and whatever. I just you probably could never fully swing <laughs> and hit a ball. Um, but I would still do little takeaway things. And I, I believe I got in such a bad habit with that because I couldn't move my back that well. So I just became real armsy. And if I could roll open, I could roll it up a little bit higher. Um, instead of doing, moving the body and kind of letting that be the, um, I like to really feel like my right side, like right oblique pulling everything back uh, from the start um, to get everything moving where it should be, get the right hip higher on the back swing, and um, just feel like I get a big turn. So hopefully in week four, the next one I send, I I have to clean that takeaway up, okay? And I'd like to be a little more stacked, okay? Hopefully we can see that a little better. So what I'm saying is that impact right here that my and i know i'm putting myself out there and you know people can make fun of me for my swing or whatever but what's kind of funny is i can still go out and shoot um par with this swing so and that's with all the time i've missed not playing so and that's with me never getting to hardly go play so that's um I'm just telling you the kind of hands i have and stuff I, with all the practice i put in the past and a little of the short game stuff I'm able to do too. So um, I don't want this for me to shoot lower scores to be a better golfer because it's not my goal anymore. I just don't have the time and I don't believe I have the physical um, ability anymore to do it with a lot of pain I still, well, that I have now with arthritis and other stuff. Um, I have another torn um, labrum in my shoulder. So I just, unfortunately, as sad as it is, I can't do it, but I also think I can build um, a three-quarter swing, I think, to be able to demonstrate things a little better and more effectively to my students, um, and that's the whole goal. So this is for my students, not for me. Week three, so by week four, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do over this next week. I'm going to focus on this takeaway. Um, I want to nail this. I don't want to see this behind my hand or behind my hands anymore. And I, I'm just thinking about this when I'm talking. Um, I will say this, that I, if I'm thinking right, I think I did, um, no, never mind. I, I was trying to think about if I took some time off of the um, takeaway stuff. I think I may have in this last week and hit, just hit more balls instead because I started getting it fixed and I started working on some nine to three and 10 to two drills, which we'll get more into. Um, and if that's the case, that's uh, you know something to double back down on and check it um, and make sure I'm doing it right before I even get to that. Thanks for watching Eric Silver, EJS Golf Academy.